hey beauties i am back with another video and in this video today i will be demoing the danessa myris yummy skin products i ordered from sephora the yummy skin blurring powder primer um and as well as the foundation and i will be showing you guys how it applies and giving you guys my overall opinion danessa danessa myris is synonymous for her uh our skin like finish to a lot of things she specializes in skin she's a phenomenal makeup artist very successful makeup artist and when she created these products she created it for it to mimic your natural skin giving you that beautiful glow and she also uh had us women being that she is an older makeup successful makeup artist she also had older women such as myself i'm doing makeup for women over 40 in mind because as we get older our skin does change and some of the products that used to work for us may not work for us i don't have that problem um thank god i do credit jeans for that because when my mom passed away she was uh 51 but if you looked at my mom you would have thought she was 31 years old so i do um credit you know jeans for that but you know um our skin does change our skin is very hormonal as you can see my skin is going through a hormonal state i had some hormonal acne that has left a little bit of dark marks so i'm waiting for that to peel off so um my skin can go back looking beautiful i think my skin was just um i think the environment was just jealous of how beautiful my skin is because maybe i drinks my water but let me be honest with you since they have been inventing that zero sugar sodas or whatnot and being that on my diet sometimes i do a cheat some things weren't agreeing with me and then i wasn't doing my skincare as much because i had been extremely tired from working so yeah i'm back on the ball with that i am back doing my mask i'm about to do a bentonite clay mask coming this week and i'm also on a search for an esthetician i am into besides you know my makeup or whatever i'm starting to get more into that me care situ um, situation like wanting to go to a spa wanting to go to an esthetician to get my body you know get my body massaged or you know i do go get my waxes tmi tmi but i was like okay well let me look for me a good esthetician let me get pampered so that's what i'm on now i'm in that stage of wanting to look good wanting to feel good letting it radiate radiate from the inside and out because i've been doing my shadow work and i have you know overcome a lot so now i'm at that stage in my life where i've raised my children and now i you know got myself together um or getting myself together in other aspects of my life where i'm able to now finally treat myself without feeling guilty so as you can see i started out applying this with my finger just to see how it would apply and then i ended up applying it with my sonia kashuk uh, kabuki brush which i find is the dupe for the um the morphe vegan brushes which i will be collecting some of those brushes really really soon i got like a few of them i got my eye on but if i could catch it in a set i probably will if you like this brush and you're curious about how i feel about the brush you can head over to my tiktok which is teach Yvonne beauty where i unbox the brushes and show all of the brushes in its entirety so right here um with the blurring powder i i got the uh number five and it may have looked like it was a little too light for my skin but trust me it wasn't i was doing this in the natural light so there is no ring light that's just me in front of my bedroom window and the sun is hitting right there to apply my fine uh my makeup and if you look at some of my videos i actually do sit down and apply my makeup in the natural light because i just believe that even though i love my ring light sometimes i want you to see the makeup exactly how i'm going to walk out of the house with it on <laughs> so right here i got 13 um in which is 13 neutral um the other colors were extremely dark on me but i'm just gonna have to mix i do have 13 g which was too light for me this was a tad light because i got a tan this summer and also because i don't like my foundation to be my exact skin tone because i like a bright highlight so what i did was i just added my nyx concealer into it and it panned it out just well i said that i wasn't going to bring back the other foundation i'm just going to use that in my uh, center of my face to do myself a highlight when i want that extreme uh, bright highlight today all i wanted to do was just demo this product for you guys i didn't even do the eye tutorial on this there is no eye tutorial on it but if you guys want one is i will do it for y'all but i was like okay let me just do a 
um product demonstration so yeah um in all honesty i want to talk about that i really and truly did not feel like coming back on doing any more videos because i find that um popularity overrules a lot of uh, you know popularity overrules authenticity and then again um i had a look and then i took it off and was like okay let me go run to target um i didn't feel like doing any makeup today like i had been wrestling with this for like a few days or maybe a week on whether i wanted to do the videos like i would write down what i wanted to content create and then some of them never make it to the light because the devil gets busy like once he see you doing good for yourself he sees you on a roll and then he can't mess with you with your fate what he does he start messing with you about you putting in your head things making you you know um bringing memories that will cause you to get triggered so as i was sitting there i had to be at work tonight that i mean had to be at work that night because i did this yesterday so i had to be at work last night i was like oh you know what i'm just gonna wait till my next off day but then motivation came in and was like no get up and do that uh demo you have a couple of hours before you go to work it's not like you go and do anything too too strenuous um it is not like you have to immediately go to work after you do that makeup you can do this look and you can definitely be you will still be able to chill out and um get yourself together in time to go to work so that's exactly what i did so i was like okay I have another makeup look in mind. I'm here to demo this product and it needs to be demoed. It had been sitting on my dresser for two weeks waiting to be cracked open and used. And I'm like, I'm spending all of this money on makeup. You are gonna use it. You're not gonna collect the makeup. You're actually going to use it. You're actually going to demo it. So that's exactly what I did. So sometimes we have to, you know, show up and show out when we really don't feel like doing it. And that's exactly what I did. And some of the reception to I got more love on my Facebook than I did on any other web, uh, any other of my app, apps or social media pages. But I'm just gonna let that grow. And eventually, um, like I said, everyone will eventually see it and start interacting with it. So that's exactly what I did. You know, um, when it comes down to color, I think outside of the box, I'm not scared to rock any color that um, is on the rainbow. I love color. I will rock it. And believe it or not, I will wear this out in public because that's just me. I don't really, I'm not the type of person to really think about what a person will say or think about it. Sometimes some people come to me and tell me they love it. And then sometimes I get those stares and it is good to stare because people are curious about a person who is bold and out there. So yes, this is how it looked. As y'all can see, look how beautiful the um product it like i say it mimics your natural skin it gives you that natural within glow a little dose does go a long way as you can see i had a uh, product left i love it i actually look uh beautiful even though i am oily combination it did not make me go oily i actually did not want to take this off but i knew i had to go to work and i don't work in makeup anymore so this is the look that i came up with as you can see i wanted to rock my um, my blue hair so bad and these blue lashes that will be a part of my lash line and so i was like come on sis you can do this you can definitely um you can definitely get this out there and that's just what i did so as you can see again i have the Danessa myricks yummy skin blurring powder in shade number five and also the foundation which is 13 in if this is around your skin tone these are going to be perfect for you i picked these up at sephora.com and you can too as well and leave reviews for others to um you know want to buy the products or are curious about the products as well so yeah i was having a little fun as you can see i was really and truly enjoying this look i did not want to take this look off so i want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend i may ramble on and on and on but eventually you will get the point of the video so i'll see y'all soon